We are going over ratio tables. My learning target is I can use ratio tables to solve real world situations. So ratios can be organized into ratio tables. And these have columns filled with a pair of numbers that have the same ratio. So I'm going to show you an example of how we would figure out the answer to a problem using a ratio table. So on a school field trip, there needs to be one adult for every three kids. Find the number of adults needed for 12 kids. So we are going to draw a table. We have adults, kids, So one adult for every three kids, two adults for every six kids, three adults for every nine kids, four adults for every 12 kids. So we need four adults. All right, number one, the recipe calls for two cups of water for every can of corn. How many cups of water are needed for four cans of corn? So we are going to do water to corn. So two cups of water for one can of corn. If we have four cups of water, we have two cans of corn. Six cups of water, we have three cans of corn. Eight cups of water, we have four cans of corn. So eight cups of water. Number two, to make lemonade, you need three cups of sugar for every five tablespoons of lemon juice. How many cups of sugar do you need to make 10? Or do you need for 10 tablespoons of lemon juice? So we have sugar and lemon juice. So for three cups, you need five tablespoons. So for ten, 10 tablespoons, which is times two, you need six cups of sugar. At an animal boarding facility, they need two cups of food per dog. How many cups of food do you need for 25 dogs? So food, dogs. So two cups of food for one dog. If we had 10 cups, that would be times five, so that would be five dogs. If we had times five, which is 50 cups of food, that would be 25 dogs. So 50 cups of food. Do times five, times five. There's a times five here and a times five here. Plane requires two flight attendants per 50 people. How many flight attendants are required for 300 people? So we have flight attendants and people. 
two flight attendants per 50 people. So if we are going to multiply by two here, it's 100 people, four flight attendants. Multiply by two, 200 people, that would be eight flight attendants. Multiply by two, that'd be 400, and that would be 16 flight attendants. So we need to take maybe a little bit different approach. We have 100, this is four. If we have 150, that would be times three here. So times three is six. 200, that would be times two here. So that'd be eight, because we do times two here. Then we have 250, that would be times five here. So two times five is 10. And then 300 would be times three here. So four times three is 12. So 12 flight attendants. Jennifer is trying to balance her protein and sugar intake. She decided to eat 12 grams of protein per 8 grams of sugar. How many grams of protein should she eat if she eats 40 grams of sugar? So we have protein, sugar. Twelve grams of protein for eight sugar. We want forty is our end goal. So we should do 18 times two is 16. This is 24. 18 times three is 24. So 12 times three is 36. Eight times four is 32. Eight times four, I'm sorry or 12 times four is 48. And then eight times five is 40, 12 times five is 60. So it should be 60 grams of protein. Can't spell protein. Okay, Erica is grading her students' final essays. Every 20 minutes, she grades three essays. How many minutes will it take her to grade 12 essays? So we have essays and minutes. So 20 minutes, three essays. So three times two is six essays. That would be 40 minutes. Three times three is nine essays. That would be 60 minutes. And three times four is 12 essays. And that would be 80 minutes.